Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ton Ton here, and welcome back to my channel. So, following my series of the Mega from Titan Strike Team 4 with the Vanguard, today I present to you the final mech which you can count as a sub mech an individual one that transforms into a train, a robot and a beast and will be the final component for the final guard type which I'm gonna review in the next video so here today we have the G-Rail Thunderbreaker Saber that is a lot of earth so now let's begin so here we have Thunderbreak Saber from the box and I'm gonna hit it with a spin around the design is still the same, you got the clear plastic and the image of the mech itself, this is from the show and then the other alternate mode so I'm gonna talk a bit, a little bit about this alternate mode. So I think we can call this alternate mode is a Kirin, which is the Asia definition for unicorn. But it is a diff same name but different creature. So now let's let's have him t uh, spin around the box. So here we have the pilot, and he got a horn on his helmet, and then we got the normal same stuff, the three mode, and then this this is the final combine, as you can see. And then here we have another picture of the Kiri itself, and that's about it. Now, let, now let's crack this open. So cracking out here, we have the mech itself, the thunder brick. I'm just gonna call it thunder, thunder brick for now for short. And then here we have the manual. So I show you. And then you have the normal piece as for the rail connector and then you have the, the this guy weapon which is a two piece of a spear and to connect them this is quite interesting because of, like for some normal spear like weapon they're gonna just plug it in but this is form of the screw so it's actually pretty nice so you just simply rotate it like that and you got a very long spear and I'll get to that later but now let's get to the mech itself so here we have this guy as the robot so it's quite interesting to see the main color of this guy is the dark navy blue with some gold and red highlight so with this color tone it can express the toughness of this design and i actually really enjoy this i mean like a lot you can see but then again this got the problem of the using the two different gold shit which is like for the face and the shoulder paint that is a really nice gold painting but for the other parts, they are using that cheap gold color that Bandai has always been using. This is a similar kind of gold. So yeah, it is kind of up and down that we don't have the consistency that we wanted. Other than that, the other details look fine to me, except for the arms. I know that this is a transformation, but the arm looks kind of short and or to be honest, kind of ridiculous to me. Now let's get into some details of this guy. Uh, so for the face, let's get to the face first, so that he got a really nice face paint, I enjoy that. Like I said, the gold crest looks really nice. He got some painted red eyes and the face section is painted white. And But then again, the horn is using the same color. So it is quite, you can say that it is, a, it is a little bit of highlight, but I would not say that too often. Other than that, it is everything we got from the head. From the chest, we got the Kirin's head as the highlight and it, it looks nice. Absolutely, it looks nice. The mouth can open and close a little bit, and you got some red paint on there as well. And if you, you can totally remove it because that due to the Gatai transformation stuff. And now for the arms, you got a very broad shoulder piece which can move around again, like I said, for combination sequences. And then it can move out a little bit, and you got the tiny arm section, which is kind of funny. And it can bend like that to hold the spear. Now talking about the spear, so the way to hold is that you got this handle in the back and you simply just gonna plug it in like that. Even though that is kind of too long and this weapon is probably for the bigger robot mode. So what I'm gonna normally do is gonna remove the longer handle section. So make him holding some kind of blade, I guess. Yeah, that should be that that should fit better for the job. And this blade has got some rotation and I absolutely enjoy the details of the spinning the, the, of the disc below it. You got all the colors, which is weird. So let's talk a little bit about the leg section of this guy over here. So here's a, he got a standardized gut tie leg section, which is like unable to move, barely any details. And if you turn it around, you see a little bit of that really nice gold painting again. And then that's just it. 
he, he, he has no articulation and all he got is like a little bit of the leg but that is for the transformation gimmick if you could say that so I think let's, that is enough of the road mode and let's get to transform this guy into the train mode so first to transform this guy into the train first I'm gonna remove everything from him And then first collapse the two legs, push it in, and take out this and rotate it, close the head, before that we're going to close the horn, and close it like that. So from this point here, you got two options to transform this guy either to the Kirin mode or the train mode. So I'm going to transform into the train mode first. Then next with the arm part, you're just going to first fold up this guy and tap him in and tap in the tab and fold it onto like that and we're done do the same thing with the other side that should be pretty sim simple and then gonna lock them all together like that and with this you can see the hollowness you can hide the Kirin face like that and we're nearly done now with this one over here, it's quite interesting. You fold in like that. Then do the same thing. Hide the leg. And bring this out. Collapse them one together. And then, yeah, that is basically everything for the trade mode. And we're done. So here we have the Thunder Break Saber in the trade mode. And I must say of all the trade mode I have, play with so far I enjoyed this one the most by the looks of it I enjoy the color scheme I enjoy the gold highlight on the navy blue because because I'm a navy blue lover and then of course I kind of feel disarray a little bit about the red wheels but I guess that is okay and by far I enjoyed this the most because just look at the design of this I really enjoy it as the design goes so yeah I would highly recommend this one guy because like I've always loved standalone mech let alone blue mech so yeah, this this guy touched my soft spot for toys. So and I think they have done a pretty great job of transforming this single bot into a bot that is capable of transforming into three forms without the need for other robot to form the robot mode. Other than that, I think the beast mode is also nice, and I think about time to get to it. So yeah, let's turn transform this guy into a Kirin. To begin with, first remove this section to reveal the head, and then split this out flip this back into the arm mode and then bring out the leg repeat the same thing and then with this one split them open and then bring this in and before that don't forget like I did open out this that will be the back leg and then re repeat the same thing with this section and we're done now let's fold collapse them together And last but not least, flip out the tail. We're done. So here we have the Kirin mode, and I have said before, there's no other details that we haven't seen before at this mode. So about the detail-wise, it is all the same. We have some new legs, and of course we get that tail section. And like I said, the value of this toy has been decreased by the use of this cheap gold plastic effect like material. I would enjoy him better, and I, I think I'm actually gonna repaint this guy into the proper gold color to give him the justice that he deserves. Other than that, this is a really nice beast mode. It got the weight, the bulkiness, and I really enjoy the way they try to make the back thighs a little bit thicker than the front thighs. That makes him look like really beasty and look really strong. And yeah, that is really nice. And of course, we have all seen that, but this in this mode, he have one. He has another features. So you can see flip up this, and that is his gun. And if you open up this, there you see the missile. And I absolutely adore this missile, they are painted in red color, which is really nice. The guns, I wish they have some other details onto it, rather than the gold color, but this is fine. And that should be about it. So this wraps up my video about the G-Rail Thunder Brick Saver. 
which is the last mech from the series Titan Strike Team 4 over to Vanguard. I hope you enjoyed this and up next there will be a combination of this guy and the Iron Wood and the uh, Heat Wave so they all come together to form a Omega Rail Saver so stay tuned for that and so that's wrap up for today guys if you like this video give it a share and if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe and also follow me on Instagram that is where I do most of my updates and of course, if you feel like you can help me out with the future figures, feel free to buy me a coffee. Link of my Instagram and my coffee is all in the description below. So, Tonton out.